guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is uh, Sunday, August the 6th, which is crazy to me. I feel like this year is just whew, flying by. So I believe it's 87 days until Halloween, I think. <laughs> and I will talk about Halloween stuff here in a minute, but I also got to vlog a little because I decided not to do vlogs this year since I was doing the hundreds of Halloween. However, I'm still doing Vlogtober when it comes around. But I got a, a roast in the crock pot I wanted to show you. Let me see if I can not drop my phone in the crock pot because that would be bad. Look at it. <laughs> it's a Mississippi roast. and I, But I will add potatoes because I love potatoes and roast. What I do is right before, about like the last hour the roast is cooking, I will peel and cut up some potatoes and boil them on the stove until they're done. And then I'll stick them in there and just let them suck up the juices. And... Uh, that way I can have potatoes with my roast because I love roasting potatoes. And the Mississippi roast, you know, like it doesn't ever have potatoes in it. But I had it. There's also a cup of beef broth in there, which it doesn't call for, but I had that left over in the fridge from another recipe, so I went ahead and put it in there. Just to use it, just to make it more soupy. But anyways, so all that is is like three pounds, I think it's two and a half pounds roast. Some pepperoncinis and some pepperoncini juice. A packet of brown gravy, because I never... I never put au jus in there. I always just buy, I have brown gravy like in the big container. I always just use brown gravy. And a packet of ranch. I think that's it. Oh, and a stick of butter. So it's not healthy at all, but it's tasty. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be for dinner. I put it in at about 9.30 this morning. So it won't be done until like 6-ish. Maybe, maybe sooner. I don't know. Just depends on everything <laughs> anyways Devin just left to, to go to the town next to us to look at some shoes he took the baby with him Devin or Jesse is still at my sister's house he spends another night there uh and then I'm going to sit here and I'm gonna watch a horror movie for today a scary movie and work on my blanket I think and then I will put a clip in later of me talking about yesterday's movie because I did watch one yesterday Although on Friday I didn't get a chance to watch a movie, so I skipped the the Friday. I watched one yesterday, and then I watched one today. <laughs> and uh, and then in a little bit I gotta record my Sunday episode that I've been doing the last few weeks, my No Catch Name episode. And I also gotta record the giveaway winners. I meant to yesterday, and time just got away from me yesterday. But anyways, I'm gonna try to find which movie I'm gonna watch today, and sit down here with my. Halloween blanket, and I'm gonna get me a big old thing of water because I'm thirsty. And I'm gonna sit here and watch a scary movie. Alright, I just got done watching the Halloween video for today. Yes, the trash can is right there because we have to keep it up off the floor, or June will throw stuff away that she's not supposed to. And hold on a minute, it's probably loud. I'm putting my chair back in the closet so that June also doesn't climb up in it and kill herself. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I just finished watching my Halloween movie for today. Or not my Halloween movie, but you know, my sc spooky, scary, thriller type movie. Putting it in the spice cabinet. You're surrounded by all kinds of nice spices. Uh, so yesterday, we'll start with yesterday's video first. <laughs> yesterday I watched a movie on Netflix called, I think it was called In the Tall Grass. And I watched the whole thing before I even realized it was a Stephen King slash Joe Hill movie. Joe Hill is Stephen King's son. It's like his suitor name. Because he wanted to get famous on his own without his dad's name, which is totally understandable. But anyways, <laughs> I didn't even know that when I was watching it until after I was done watching it and I was looking up the um, the picture that I pop up and I saw that and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention when the credits was coming on apparently. Anyways, it's on Netflix and it was really good. It's kind of, uh, I guess it's like a, it's not really, it wasn't really a horror movie. It was more like a thriller. Although there was some gory. Wait, maybe I already talked about this. Did I already talk about this? I feel like I talked about this already. I can't remember. <laughs> Anyways, I liked it because it was, um, there was like, it was dimensional. I don't know if that's the right way to say that. But it's like the story started and then it kind of restarted and restarted. And it was like different pathways for the, the, the show. <laughs> and it was really good, I thought. Oh, I know I talked about this now. Because I remember talking about... The guy from The Conjuring. I must have already talked about this in an earlier clip. I'll have to go back and look. Okay, disregard all of that. I know I talked about that. I must have just forgot that I talked about it. <laughs> so you might have already seen that clip. Anyways, I did give it five out of five pumpkins. Jacket learns. Okay, so the one I watched today was on Paramount Plus. 
uh, and it is called Monstrous, and it has Christina Ricci in it. I watched it because it has her in it, and I love her. She's almost, you know, almost all her movies are really good ones. But I will say the big, the first half of this movie was kind of not like doing it for me. <laughs> I was like, I don't know where this movie's going. It's kind of boring a little bit. Um, but I'm glad I stuck in, you know, stuck with it, and watched the whole thing because the ending of the movie totally like took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting the ending of the movie at all. <laughs> It was kind of like, um, have you guys watched The Village by M. Night Shyamalan, or I'm not sure how you say his name. Um, it's kind of like that, the way it ended. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what the heck? I was confused on the ending, but it, it ended really well, I thought. Um, it ended better than it started, if that makes sense. So if you do watch that movie, give it a chance. If it seems kind of boring at first, go ahead and watch it all the way through. It, it ended up pretty good. There's no gore in it at all. It's not gory. It's more like a thriller. It's kind of like a ghost story almost. So it does have ghosty bits. No, wait a minute. I didn't watch. I don't know what it was. I watched that tall grass one the other day. Okay, I'm just trying to Hold on a second. <laughs> Anyways, Monsters. Uh, when I first watched it, I was like, man, this is like a three pumpkin movie. But then towards, well, by the time it ended, it was definitely a five pumpkin movie. And I've been saying that a lot lately. But apparently I like a lot of these movies. So I'll give it four or five Jack Lanterns out of five. <laughs> and then I just remembered while I was talking. I watched the Tall Grass a couple days ago. What was the one I watched yesterday? I'm trying to remember what it was called. It had Amanda S Seinfeld. I have to say her name. What was that movie called? Hold on a second. I'm going to have to go look. Okay. I went and looked. I watched the Tall Grass one on Thursday. Didn't watch anything on Friday just because I was busy. Yesterday, Saturday, I watched also on Netflix, Things mm -hmm. Seen and Heard. Something just vibrated. I don't think it was my phone. Maybe it was. <laughs> um, it was called Things Seen and Heard. And it was a really good movie. I liked it a lot. It does have a little bit of gore in it. Not like not. It's not like Freddy Krueger gore. But it's just kind of. There's some bloody parts in it. There's like one bloody part actually. <laughs> um, and it was kind of like a ghost story. It starts off like a, like a ghost story. And then it ends. Well I mean the whole thing's a ghost story. But it ends pretty interesting. It ends kind of sad. Like um. I wasn't expecting it to end exactly the way that it did. The, the person who got killed towards the end, I wasn't expecting that person to die. But um, it was really good. And actually, while I was watching it, I felt like I had watched it before. So I may have seen that maybe around the time it came out. I'm not even sure when it came out. But because um, a lot of it seemed really familiar or maybe it was just really similar to another movie I've seen before. Uh, but I liked it a lot. It was really good. And it has, um, I can't remember how you say her name. Amanda something. She's in a lot of like spooky movies nowadays, <laughs> and it was, oh, I just liked it a lot. Uh, it's it has ghosts in it, but they're not like bad ghosts necessarily. They're like trying to help kind of ghosts. And it's just really good. I just I recommend it. <laughs> I also give it a five out of five. Jack Lawrence. I realize that almost all my movies have been five out of five, but I just like movies. I like watching movies, and I've been trying to watch only new movies. I feel like I did accidentally rewatch one, The Ring. Like I didn't think I had seen that, but then when I was watching it the other day. I think I did watch it. <laughs> I think me and Devin watched it a few years ago, but it was still good. But anyways, so the two movies I did watch yesterday and today was yesterday I watched uh, Things Seen and Not Heard on Netflix, or Things Seen and Heard, and then today I watched Monstrous on Paramount+. Plus. I just got confused about the tall grass one. That was Thursday. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, that's a lot to say, but I liked both. I liked all of those movies. <laughs> but uh, I worked on my blanket a little bit today. I just added a little bit, not even a whole row. Uh, so I, I probably won't show that, but I did take a clip of me working on it while I was watching that movie. <laughs> and, uh, I think this might be the last clip for today, unless I do add something in at the end. I did take some vloggy type clips yesterday while we was at a family dinner, so I might put those in as well. And if I do any more vloggy type clips, I'll add those. But we're about to go, uh, Devin's about to come home in a little bit, and we're gonna go play Pokemon. Because I'm like, this close to leveling up, and I want to get leveled up. But, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off here, and I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow <laughs> in 100 days of Halloween. But, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs>